Para conseguir este halcón hizo falta un largo proceso de cría en cautividad. Like every spring, Francisco gets ready for the beginning of breeding season of the peregrine falcon. The daily contact of Frank with both the male and the female is very important. This is how the necessary bonds for good breeding season are created. This type of breed do not fear humans. They were raised by them and consider themselves as a member of the same species. Frank approaches the male to obtain the semen once the parents are in heat. Macedo recognizes him as its partner and ejaculates inside a container made especially for this purpose. Semen is quickly collected in capillaries. It is thoroughly examined through the microscope to test its fertility and see if it's suitable for insemination. Morita is ready as well. We can now proceed to the insemination. In order to do this, the semen is deposited inside its cloaca. Morita absorbs the semen through the oviduct to the reproductive system. After a few days, Morita lays its first egg and will continue to do so every two and a half days. Examining the viability of the egg is vital. Francisco takes it away momentarily to mark and weight it. As the incubation days go by, the state of the embryo needs to be checked. The observation is made with an egg tester, which is an easy way to observe the development of the embryo. All the information of the process is noted in a chart. The daily turning is essential for the proper development of the embryo. The incubator is programmed and the turning takes place automatically every hour. Morita also spends its breeding cycle taking care of incubation of another lay.
33 days after, the miracle happens and a small falcon is burned. It weighs nearly 35 grams and is completely defenseless. This tiny being will receive all due care and will be fed every four hours during its first week. During the first days of life, the feathers of every chick will be tucked in different colors to know who is who. When they are 12 days old, they are permanently ringed for its identification. The chicks, fed by their mother, will not know the human care and will grow up naturally. They will be wild falcons and they will help toward nature repopulation. producers or will be used in falconry after they are fully feathered.